Right, it's Bank Fun Touring Cars, race number two about to start. We got some pictures for you guys in the Opel Garage. We have some couple of cars running through here in the Toyota Garage. Um, what the guys did for us in the Audi Garage. Some good drivers in the Audi Garage, I must say. Then we go to the BMW Garage. A um, couple of um, nice pics here from the BM. Then then let's have a look at the Volkswagen Garage, the, the, the old boys, they are very quick I must say. Um, and then the Sassel Ford guys who at the moment clicking. Right, grid walk on pole, it looks like um, Neil again and I think a couple of cars running through here, yeah, BMW there, a couple of races good. Uh, something happened to, to um, this in that race, I don't know what happened to him. But something did, and um, we got a mass there. Hopefully, you'll get away. Um, that mass driver um, looks like Octane. Um, I'm creepy there. Right, guys, SA Motorsport, GT Sport, Sim Racing. Let's get started. Let's get growling up. Yeah, Bank Fun Touring Cars, 18 laps, race number one. I mean, sorry, race number two. About to start. There's four lights. That's five lights. We got go, and off we go. Great start there. Looks like BMW again. Running at the back there. Looks like having a good one. But Neil is having a great start again. That Ford is just quick out of the box. And coming to the first corner, BMW into second. And it looks like um, that's going to be Radio Guy. And it looks like Prom Daddy is also in there. He's going his car around. Rene has made a good a couple of ups. That second Ford is on his way. He's having a good start there too. And doesn't have to get pushed off the, off the race line. To get this race going and uh, Neil, a great start, but he's got um, looks like a BMW driver and a camera guy just flying through here. But a great start there from the two BMW drivers, they're gonna have to work hard in this race. But the Ford is coming, he had a problem in the first race, he's got his car going in the second race, so he's gonna make up and show his teammate he is here to mean business. It looks like the Volkswagen again, a little bit of problem. Prime Daddy again, looks like it got caught out. And Octane at the back here again, looks like having a bad start for Octane. Oh, some brakes, brake um, dust coming out of that fort. And it looks like it's class in second place. And that BM still in the spare BMW. And that radio guy's having a fight with. with um, that looks like Ray, um, Jock, KBR Jock there. And then Rania catching up. A great start from Rania. He's got a car, two cars running wide. And I think. I think um, YOLO is just maybe he touched the ball there, I'm not sure. Octane comes in the pits, that's going to be a problem. Opal in the pits, that's not very good. Uh, still dust coming out, that looks like tire smoke this time. That BM, uh, that Ford hits the brakes. Rania is all over it, runs wide a bit, but it's all over that, um, all over JP, uh, um, Jock's um, bumper there. But now made a mistake and it looks like Cutcop is on his way. There's a big fight here at the back, it's Opal and Audi and Looks like it's Toyota, but Toyota's do that. C-Max is having a problem. He had a great race in the first race. He's falling back. Out on the brakes. Oh, J that looks like... Oct uh, oh, Z-Max got a touch. I think someone touched C-Max. Oh, he spun it back and he drove into someone's... It's difficult to say, but this race is quick. And they've got Neil still in front with uh, Klaas in second. And uh, and um, looks like Radio Guy in third. And then Renier is in fifth position. Looking into into Rania's car there, camera car just not getting the angle properly. Rania out on the brakes, taking in the corner, he's turning in light, looking back, that Ford's coming. Rania gets a good start, he's got a good run out of here. He's got a great run out of here. Will, he, will it work? That's a good question. He's got um, KBR Jock in the inside, he's looking for a way to get the inside, but I just think he's got too much power there, he's got a break. He comes to the inside, I think he's got a break late. Yes, he breaks late and runs wide. Oh no man, Rania is still going it around. A little bump from, from Cutcorp there. On oh, Rania sideways, oh, he's making it difficult for himself at this stage. Lap number four, Rania is making mistakes. He's going it back. There's nothing I can say about Rania's driving. He just needs to calm down a bit. Yolo is up there too and looking good. And Neil still in the front, yeah, and I don't think the fourth is going to have any problems. Oh, the second fourth, I think he's going to have some issues coming through the pack. Radio guy running wide there, and a couple of cars running wide. Oh, Cutcock, speaking about having problems, Cutcock almost loses it, but he lost, he lost the momentum. Rene is blocking the open, he's blocking this. Will it work? Let's have a look. Oh, they touch, they touch again. Oh, that's going to put Rene unbalanced. Rene is out of the brakes, he's trying to get stopped. It is into the wall. That's Rainier's race over. That's guaranteed. And Pram Daddy comes past. And that's it. Rainier's done. I think he's got damages in that BMW now. And he's going to hoy it all away for just that little bit of a late break in. Like I said, Rainier's just trying way too hard in this race. 
But it's done. BMW made a mistake, and that's what happened in the bank for touring cars. Guys, and Neil is just showing the guys, just be calm and cool. Class is not far from him in this race, and um, there's a big fight from Jock and Toyota. Um, radio guy, Audi versus Toyota at the moment. Toyota's on the front. Guys, it's cooking out there. It's a nice hot day in, on this track in Rainier. Uh, um, Jock is looking for a way past the radio guy. Radio guy is making it difficult, but it's a big fight. And Neil, it looks like this and Cutcop is having a fight. It's a couple of tents getting there. Mirrors flying off. But now someone's in the inside. I can't make it out. That looks like it's going to be Big Mac. Is it Big Mac? I, I'm not, it's Big Mac getting his nose stuck in this. He's showing the guys, come on, you want to hold each other up. I'm definitely going to go for this. Now we got Ford, Opel and Volkswagen having a dice into that corner. So we got a big fight here from 5th, 6th and 7th. And oh, a big bump there from um, from um, Katkop into the Opel. And Katkop again gets it sideways. He's not getting the tracks in the corner. Now Prime Daddy is coming in and he's taking advantage out of this. And he closes the door and says, that's it, Wayne. Don't get it sideways. Zemas coming out of the corner and YOLO. Then we got Rania and he's got a hard work of some, some do you think he went to the pits, got the car changed. And now we got gotta have Rania and I think Rania and Octane's gotta have a fight here. But here comes Neil. Neil's about to lap him. There's eight laps to go after this one. It's a hell of a race. Neil's not it's not showing uh, slowing down at all at this race. He's just really man, that fort is going. Hard on the brakes coming into this corner, let's see what happens. We got an Opel in the front and we got um, Big Mac and it's Volkswagen into sixth position there. And we got um, Cape, uh, Prime Daddy and Katko fighting it out in seventh and eighth position. So there's a really hard fight at this stage of the, or the, or the, or the, or the race. There's like I said, this is lap, there's eight laps to go. Z Max in ninth position, he had some bad luck in the start, opening couple of laps. He lost it in turn one and behind him looks like yellow. And it is. The um, Red Bull Polo is getting sponsored by Red Bull. It's looking difficultly quick. As Opel comes here fighting with Rania as Octane's making times up here. And Neil is still hot on the brakes. I don't, I, think, I don't think the radio guys are talking to Neil or Neil's not listening to him because he's flying on this, on this track. There's no response from the engineering guys for Neil, so I don't think they are, or they are talking to him, but he's not listening, one of the two, because he's driving that car very hard. Now we got Radio Guy into fourth position, so he's still having a fight, so that so far um, Audi has beaten Radio Guy at the state, and Big Mac is coming, Big Mac is on his way, and we got Prime Daddy hard on the brakes. Prime Daddy locking up that back wheels a bit. And Z Max is out and Yolo made a mistake somewhere because he's lost time. And here comes Renia, he's really hoping for the best in this second race just to get it in the points or something. Um, the top six does get the top sixteen does get points here, so it's it's gonna be a tough sort of a race at this end. It's ne um, Neil catching up to Octane, so that's um, gonna be a lap down for Octane if Neil catches him. There's just eight eight more laps to go. Sorry guys, now we now we got eight laps to go. So we're getting there slowly but surely on this track and it's getting difficult for the drivers now because it's getting tough. It's um, Bram Daddy looks like, uh, no sorry, that's Jock. KBR Jock is under attack, he's got Toyota and Opel behind him, I think he's got a Volkswagen coming up too. So it's going to be a battle there and Bram Daddy, what is, I think he's lagging, I think he's lagging guys, so don't stress about that, he's lagging. A little bit of a problem there for Bram Daddy. Um, but we got Neil still going on, he's in lap number 11 out of 18. Neil is just, I mean, he's not slowing down at all. As you can look at his lap times, he's keeping it in the 47s. So he's not pushing harder than than a 47. Um, Octane gives him a gap. So now the next guy, I think it's going to be Renier. As class comes through here and, and looking for a way to run at the stage. And we got Jock catching up. Out. So in the, in the top three, in the top three, we got a, a Ford, Sasso Ford. We got a BMW, a spare one of the BPBMs, and we got a, a Audi um, of the Re, a, um, Red Bull. Uh, um, Red, oh, you know, I can't get to that name, guys. It's racing so tight here of the Rothman. There we go, the Rothman Audis. So someone flashing lights there and pushing hard. Um, Neil went past Octane. 
So, and he was a little bit off the pace. I think Octane must have hold him up or something because um, he's getting, he's got slowly off the pace here yeah, in this lap. So, out in the brakes, I think he's got, um, not sure, yeah, Rene is not far ahead of him. A second man class is really pushing hard because maybe his teammate can help him to win this race and become the, f the second winner in the Bank for Touring Cars. I don't know, guys, let's see what happens. There is six laps to go. Opel, it's, it's, it is in the front, fourth, second, um, BM, then you've got Opel. Opel in, in third at the moment, Rene is going that car around, trying to get away from the left car and Octane in 12th position. It's not see that we have 12 cars on the grid this time and all 12 have started and, and not anyone having a problem. As we got Neil coming around starting lap number 14 out of 18. That means four laps to go. And um, that looks like class is catching, um, is catching traffic now. So will Opel be kindly to come past and um, let BMW come past or will Opel put a fight up to get his teammate closer in pass so we don't know what's going to happen then it's difficult to say will Opel play a, a team role here and hold BMW fast to let his teammate can get so difficult thing to say at the stage of the race um, Prime Daddy told them um, Z Max in ninth position 10 is going to be YOLO in that Volkswagen um, um, Polo uh, Sorocco car it's very quick and then Renier in 11th position out on the brakes and then in 10 uh, in 12 is Octane and he's got traffic, he's got that BMW, like I said, he's looks like he's holding that BMW fast. So, are he playing the team role? It looks like it, he's playing a team role because his teammate just came up, he's came up a great, oh, he couldn't hold him on any longer than that, so he's gonna have to make it, maybe probably, probably make it easy for his teammate to come past. And, um, I don't give him any assholes to see what happens here, coming up the back straight. It's looking up, coming into the last corner here. Blue flag is showing for, that's for that is for Octane. And Octane moves, so moves. no he doesn't. He's, he's not really making it easy with his teammate either. So I think he's not playing the proper team role. Let's see what he does in the opening, in the, in, in the first corner. His teammate is now on him, getting the slipstream out of there, what he needs to get more speed of the car. He opens for his teammate. His teammate goes onto the braking system, hard on, but gets the car to stop and turn. So, hard work here now. Let's see what happens to Big Mac. Will Opel now be nice to the Volkswagen and say, listen, we, know we, are, we are basically enemies, but we are racing. So let's see what happens. Let's have a look. Because from uh, they, um, Doc, KBR Doc is in fourth position. So he's falling behind now at the moment. He had, he had his car in the, in the third. Let's see what happens if um, this, uh, Bram is still having a, uh, a lacking problem. As we got um, when yeah yeah it eleven to eleven position with lap sixteen, so will Renia make it easy for him? He's got he's, he's got f um, allowed the three blue flags to come past, and then he must let the guy go past. So um, Renia still upping the space. I think he's gonna let him go past now because they're lining him up. Renia is breaking early, and there goes the fourth. So the fourth comes past, and. I don't know what happened there, but Ronier was quick on his butt. Now Ronier is using the slipstream to make sure he's getting a good advantage out of here. So it's looking great at this stage and hard it goes. So onto the braking system. Looking difficult, Ronier is not making any trouble there. And he's trying not to get involved there. So into the system, onto the brakes. Ronier is trying to use Neon and see where the problem is. It's the last lap. So the nearest maybe realizing what the problem with his car is, I think it's tires and setup if you can maybe work on that. Um, the factory cars and that look like Z-Max and coming up now onto the last corner. Look at Renier, he's all over him. And um, so Renier can run with the Ford and come in to get his first win. I mean his second win for Bank Van Touring cars. Neil's going to make it two out of two. And what a race for, for Ford. In second place is going to be BMW and Opel. What a close one there. Then we coming down, a couple of races coming down here. What a race finish, guys. I must say, this was one of the best finishes so far. Very close as Prime Daddy. has got damages on his car, but he's getting the race done, finish. Um, very close one. Ford comes over, uh, cut cop, and now we got Prime Daddy and Z-Max coming over. We're still waiting for Yolo. And what a race, guys. This, here comes Yolo. That was an excellent finish, I must say, guys. That was perfect. That's a point for the Bank Van Touring, guys. Guys, thanks for watching. See you guys again.